special news for you. Even though you probably have better things to do right now, why don't you stick around and watch? Starting off, we will be having an interview with a very special guest. Riley Stowe will be having a sit down with, well, he knows not because you have a name, but the kids call him the man in the closet. To you, Riley. Thanks, Hunter. Today, we will be interviewing a special guest, the man in the closet. What? Where is he? Where'd he go? Uh, man in the closet? <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> 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 okay. Did I miss something? Uh, Never no. mind. Don't even bother. Okay. This brings us to our first question. Which is? Where did your career start scaring people? And well, <clears throat> Mr. Riley, is that your name? It is. Oh, okay. So, it's a career. It's not a career. Okay. So here's what happened. I was born one day inside of a closet. <gasps> ah! uh, and uh, so here's how it happened. I was just uh, bored. And then I thought it was so cool that I could watch people sleep, like little kids. And I just made a career out of it. Well, it's not a career. It's a hobby. Careers, you make money. I don't make money. It's a hobby. A hobby that takes over my entire life. I didn't do anything else. Nothing. How do you eat or even survive inside the closet watching? I was born in a closet. Is that weird enough? I don't have to eat. Oh, well, shouldn't you uh, be... Uh, what? Well, so, you exactly just go up to children and scare them? Is that correct? I don't scare them. I play with them. I have fun. The kids laugh. So hard that they start crying. It's pretty fun. Okay. Um. All right. So. Woo! 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 Um. I, I love spinning chairs. Uh, sure. Okay. So. Oh. It's been a butter jelly time. Been a butter jelly time. Yeah! 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 <coughs> mm -hmm. Um. So. Excuse me, just a minute. It's so hot in here. Let me just. What are you doing? Woo! Okay. Okay. Now. That happened. Who was the last person that you scared? Like, before this interview? Um. Not entirely sure. But what was his name? <sighs> Bob Bobberton. That was his name. Um, a very strange name. Interesting. Well, do you just pop out of the closet and go right over to them, or, or what? I'm not going to answer that. You have a son, don't you? Um, yeah. Jerry's his name, isn't it? How do you know his name? <laughs> Oh, many nights. In fact, I think I'm going to be there tonight. <laughs> um, okay, well, sure. Now, he has a pretty big closet. Nice and roomy. I can, I can actually, like, rest in there. Like, I can kick back most closets. I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> like, it's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, it, yeah, it, yeah. In his closet, it's like, ugh. You know? Yeah, yeah, I do. Okay. So. Oh, hi, camera. Hi, hi. How are you? Yeah. Anyway. So yes. Uh, do you do you think that? Is your audience aware that this is a green screen? This is not a real background. This is a green screen. Yeah, it, it is. That's mm -hmm. that's what most most places use to interview. You are lying. To the people. Um, I am not really quite frankly sure how many people watch this show, so how many people am I lying to exactly? 
You're still. Closet here. A B C D C D F. Get him. Still down. Woo! Remember it. 
I survived though. I, uh, I hid away until everybody was a zombie. And then I cured everybody. Don't mess with me. Uh, so yeah, now I'm the greatest hero that will never be known. It's true. So now I'm back to my original job in animal control. Me. But I took it up a notch. Now I protect the city from animals before they can start diseases. Somebody call animal control? I thought so. Vampires are pests. We all know that. But what you should also know is that I the exterminator. Hello, hello, hello. Let me introduce myself. Most people refer to me as the vampire hunter, but I prefer your friend. Once you're a vampire, of course, then you're my enemy. I'm going to make this message as short and simple as possible. Just call the number below, 1-800-VAMPIRE. I will arrive at your house immediately and relieve you of all your vampire issues. Just remember, 1-800-VAMPIRE. That also comes with a lifetime guarantee. Thank you. Welcome back to the Cone Report. We've been sponsored by the Animal Control Man. Somebody call Animal Control and the Vampire Hunter. We kill them so you don't have to. Welcome back everybody and now we will go to a special report on one of this city's finest organizations. Reporter Riley Stone will take you to the streets now. The following is a special report. Time and time and again, the Duct Tape Foundation have been spreading their teachings to everyday people. Their generosity is only matched by their knowledge and wisdom of the powers of Duct Tape. Hi, my name is Riley Stone, and we are out on the streets. I am going to do a report on the city's finest organizations. Hello, we are the Duct Tape Foundation, and we truly believe we are dedicated to teaching the core values of duct tape. At first, my friend and now partner here didn't exactly believe in the magic of duct tape, but a magical unicorn man came and taught us the ways, and now he's just as strong a believer as I am. Look at the way he rock, rocks these glasses. And now, we are dedicated to bringing you the knowledge and sharing the knowledge of that man and sharing it with the rest of the world. The Duct Tape Foundation. Do you believe? Thank you. Join us next time. Thank you. Oh, those kind of people just warm my heart. They sure restore my faith in humanity. Well, that's it for the Cone Report today. Thank you everyone for joining us. And we'll see you next month. This city is weird. We were recording, sir. <laughs> Take it off the air!